I don't know if I meant to say this, but just between you and me, this was a rejected cartoon. <laughs> okay, so I guess you're just making me draw trash. <laughs> Hi, my name's Maddie Dye. I am a professional cartoonist. And this is Karen Chi, who you know from American television. Thanks for being out here, Karen. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> and today, we'll be drawing New Yorker cartoons together. I will be teaching her using only verbal instructions. I can't see what she's doing. She can't see what I'm doing. We'll show each other at the end anyway. We have to talk about how much dread you're feeling on a scale from one to 10. I'm feeling no dread and all excitement, to be very honest. <laughs> I'm really stoked. The cartoon we'll be drawing today is a desert island cartoon. Okay. Sort of, I feel, a classic New Yorker trope. There are two men on the island and a stack of books, 10 books. One of them is approaching the man who is reading them and saying something to him. Okay. Have you ever been marooned, Karen? No, I honestly would love to be marooned safely. I'd love to be marooned for like three to five days with enough food. I guess what I'm saying is I want alone time. <laughs> I'm like a nice tropical island. I'd like to visit Hawaii is what I'm talking about. I'm okay. gonna start with the shape of my island. Yeah, same. That's what I was gonna do. I think I immediately made my island way too small. I'm just realizing the paper is so big. That's what erasers are for. You know what, no, I'm gonna keep it small just to show the vastness of the ocean around it. Yeah, solitude. Yes. I'm now gonna draw my horizon line. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna have one. <laughs> <laughs> Suspended in space? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a cool move. Emma Allen once told me that frequently she has to give notes that the palm trees on the desert island are too phallic. A two phallic? Well, instead of a palm tree, I was drawing a huge penis, so, well, you know, it'll be fine. You know, I can't remember what the, like, leaves on a palm tree, those, like, large fronds. I always go for, like, one main stem and then spikes extending from that. I don't really know how to draw what you said, but that sounds really awesome for you. I think it can be like a star with many points. Okay, yeah. This is my tree and honestly, it looks really beautiful. I've put coconuts on it. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, but my coconuts are dead because oh. it's deserted. So they all look really sad. <laughs> totally, totally. So you grew up in California? I grew up in California. I grew up in the Bay Area. I did take drawing classes when I was very little. Really? Yeah, but I wasn't very good at them. The sad thing about art education is that like, they kind of tell you you have to be good at drawing, kind of technically. Yeah, as I say, you know, sometimes kind of the worse, the better. Do you actually think that or are you being nice to me? No, I actually kind of think that a little bit. I mean, I just think that a lot of people are dissuaded because like, like they draw a head strange, but I actually yeah. think it's exciting to draw a head strangely. I actually remember a lot in like art class. For some reason this like really stuck with me, that like the rule of halves, where you draw a huge oval, and then the teacher would be like, the eyes are halfway down the face. Okay, I know that might seem real for me because I have a huge forehead. I also have a huge forehead. Yes, <laughs> solidarity forever. Okay, so there should be 10 books, right? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Do you like when people offer suggestions for cartoons or is it like very annoying? Oh, I like it, I like it. Oh, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I mean, I would say that like, the, they haven't always been that kindly delivered. <laughs> like I did have this one dude who was like, um, I saw your cartoon in the New Yorker and he was like, and the caption was totally off. Oh no! And he said the one that he thought was better. And then he said, but he, he printed out my cartoon and scrubbed out my caption and put his better one on top. And I was like, that feels like kind of thing you kind of just keep to yourself. Yeah, don't tell, that's so weird. That's very rude. Very rude, very rude. Sometimes after I do like stand up, uh, an odd member will come up to me and be like, I have a better punchline. And then they'll say something and it's it's not a better punchline, but it always, like, there's a part of me where I'm like, 
if it actually were a better punchline, would I just then get to say your joke on stage? Like, I don't understand any of it. Yeah. I have the two people and I have the books. I have the palm tree, the water. I put a little message in a bottle. Oh, love that it. touch. I don't know if I meant to say this, but just between you and me, this was a rejected cartoon. Okay, so I guess you're just making me draw trash. <laughs>
That's actually a really smart idea. I gave them long pants and long shirts. I gave them a three piece suit. What are you starting with? The coconuts. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, I've done my coconuts. Feeling pretty smug about them. <laughs> Do you think um, one of the dudes you drew is hotter than the other? I'm gonna say yes, because one of them looks nicer, and I think nice men are very hot. I totally agree. It's like, you know, like hot men reading on the subway. It's just yes. sort of imbues them with a certain je ne sais quoi, a certain willingness to take on information and retain it in their sweet little minds. It is, it is fun how much we are excited by the fact that men are literate. <laughs> <laughs> no, totally. Okay, I'm gonna try and do a shadow line on this palm tree Oh, tree. hell yeah, <laughs> totally. Okay, I'm very nervous. Okay, okay, I think I can do this. Okay, I think this is gonna be the closest I'm gonna get to a good job. Great. Have you signed it? Oh, no, I should do that. My nickname at work is Big Dog. Do that then. Yeah. I, I nicknamed myself Big Dog. <laughs> and then strong-armed everyone into calling it. Truly, that is what happened. And my coworkers were like, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, I have a couple captions in mind. Me too, me too. My, my caption is unbelievably long and gets less and less funny the more I have been writing it out. Oh, help. I mean, okay. I bet it's very good. It's the original oh. caption, right? <laughs> yeah, the, the original rejected caption. Karen, it's the moment of truth. Yes. You started this exercise with little to no dread and no doom. Now, we've become imminent. <laughs> no, sorry. Sorry, sorry. We will now be revealing our cartoons to each other. Okay, ready, Karen? One, two, three, reveal. I don't know how to sign all day. Oh my god, you're like just crying. Oh my god, yours is so good. Wait, read your caption. One guy saying to the other, say you had to take your 10 favorite books to a desert island, but then you needed some toilet paper. Which book would you start with? That's great, that's fun. <laughs> so I had the person who was not reading talking to the person who was reading. And the person who's not reading says, in this one, you die at the end. <laughs> that is so good. Oh, sorry, sorry, your coconuts are dead. <laughs> it's like a hell island. It is a hell island. It's like island. the island this in is... Moana that's slowly turning to volcanic ash. Yeah, but they also are, you know, long sleeved shirt and pants, which is a real <laughs> choice. I love that he's still wearing shoes in the sand. That's such a bold yeah. decision to not feel the different. sand between his toes. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna keep my boots on. <laughs> Honestly, yours is legitimately beautiful. Oh my God, it's so good. Also, the people have such expressive faces <gasps> and the pants are clearly like torn off. This is so good. I'm also realizing that I just didn't quite understand what you meant by horizon because I definitely also have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> and earlier I said I wasn't gonna have one, right? This is a- That is totally the horizon line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You instinctively knew it should have one. I love yeah. that. Do you feel that you learned? <laughs> Do you feel you learned anything? That's <laughs> too high a bar. Um, I feel like I learned about a lot about you. Yeah, absolutely. This was all just an elaborate ruse so we could spend a little time together. Yeah, and I have a new increased appreciation for the art of cartooning. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, actually, I do. Well, actually, me too. It doesn't usually feel this hard. I'm like, I can't believe I do this all the time. Yeah. <laughs>